We're going to Jersey Shore, bitch. I'm going to Jersey Shore. Give it up, gonna be all right. Burger King partnered with Jersey Shore for their reunion. That has absolutely nothing to do with today's episode of Number Six with Cheese, other than the fact that we are eating the sandwich that they promoted from Burger King. Chicken Parmesan. This is what it takes to get us together. Chicken Parmesan. Yeah, yeah, chicken, exactly. chicken Parmesan sandwiches. Yay! Who was your favorite Jersey Shore character? I fucking did not watch that show. <laughs> obviously. As soon as I asked that question, I was like, "How is he gonna berate me right now?" <laughs> oh yeah. And the funny thing is, is uh, you obviously would watch that show. Oh, I loved it. Oh, I, Pauly D was my favorite. Oh yeah, Fergus for the boys. Pauly D and Vinny's camaraderie was my favorite part oh. of the show. In America, Pauly's like, hey, is it here? In Italy, Paul would be like, Taxi sono qui. 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 Oh, I watched when that one girl got punched in the face. You're going to jail. Snooks? Snooks got punched in the dome, dude. Snook Dog took a shot. I watched that about 80 times, as a matter of fact. I watched that however much you watch the show, all seasons added together. That's probably how much I watched every single, like, that clip on repeat. That's messed up. <laughs> yeah, probably true. So I ordered drinks and he stole all my shots. So I kind of got into his face a little bit because he just wouldn't leave. And out of nowhere, clocked me in the face. So today, chicken parmesan sandwich from Burger King. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yo, it's actually so good. I like yeah. the sauce too. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh yeah, chicken parm, yeah! I don't think I'm tan enough. <laughs> Hi, can I get uh, two of the chicken parmesan sandwiches, please? What's on a chicken parmesan sandwich? Like, what is chicken parmesan? Mozzarella, the parmesan, and then usually like a tomato sauce. Gotcha. Uh, with with like a breaded chicken. You know, oh. It's always like a breaded chicken. Breaded chicken sandwich. Why would they put that on a sandwich? What the mozzarella and just cheese in general? And stuff? Just the, why does this exist? Have you tasted it? No, it's my first time. In your life? I never had a chicken parmesan sandwich. I've had chicken parmesan. Oh, I mean. Why put it on bread? You can't make that connection pretty easily. <laughs> that's not That's not easy for you to connect those dots. You excluded from ravioli night. You excluded from, from chicken cutlet night. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Why is that down? No, Cause it's uh, 87 degrees out. <laughs> Did you want a real answer or no? Cabs here. Oh God. Cabs here. Cabs here. Cabs here. The cabs are here. Oh yeah, chicken parm, yeah. I think we got too much sun today. <laughs> oh, no. That's what they do. I fucking hate that show so much. Two chicken parmesan sandwiches from Burger King acquired. I think it's gonna make me dumber to eat these. <laughs> A jump cut, eh? Busted! Busted! Oh nice. <laughs> I'm a failure. Yeah, you don't know how to do it. Whoa, smaller than I thought. Smells good. Good looking bun. Let's see if we can peel that. A lot of cheese, I like cheese. Do you? That's the shredded, are you asking honestly? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. You didn't know that about me? Wow, that's incredible. Is that Parmesan? That is maybe Parmesan that's and Parmesan. mozzarella. That's mozzarella, mozzarella right there. for sure. And then the crispy chicken, and then underneath is that marinara. Uh, marinara. That looks like Mm. They use a lot. <laughs> really lathering it up with the Sarcasm's marinara. Sarcasm's a thing. Heard of it? Man, these uh, kept their heat pretty well. Yeah, they Mine's did. really warm. We drove around trying to find good parking. Here's what we're working with. My bun's weird, though. I thought you said it was a good looking bun. The top's good looking, but what's the deal with this? Like, it, they have some sort of press machine and this got caught in it weird. Doesn't look like they slapped the pancake on the top of yours, <laughs> like this. Yeah. Chicken palm, yeah. Oh yeah, chicken palm, yeah. yeah. That's not an accent, they just don't know words. <laughs> yeah, they're also way richer than us. Uh, that does not uh, relate to uh, intelligence, necessarily. Chicken parmesan sandwiches from Burger King, cheers. Mm. Wow. That is the single driest piece of chicken 
that has ever touched my lips. Oh uh, yeah, dry, yeah. I feel like I was chewing gum for a second there. <laughs> it just was kept it, going. Is this Orbit's new flavor, chicken parmesan? Mmm. That second bite was a lot better. This is incredibly manageable. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing's dripping. It's just a solid pe like look at this. There's just nothing. Which I thought there was gonna be some mess issue with the sauce, you know. I always thought chicken parmesan was kind of sloppy with all the marinara, but they really, they tamed it down. Yeah, well when you, what, they just put it on with a paintbrush, the marinara? They didn't they really bob, They bob Ross it on there. Look yeah. happy little chicken parmesan. <laughs> Let's decide, maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree, he lives right there. Hey, what shirt is that you're wearing? I don't think I've seen you wear that shirt before. Future is so bright, I got it from Woot. Oh, from Woot? Mm -hmm. And it's just a saying, the future is so bright? Yeah, I love it, it's one of my first Woot shirts I ever got. That's also really talented the way you're holding that Gatorade. I'm really <laughs> You're thirsty. doing so many things well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? It's growing on me a little bit. I really don't mind it. This is something that I wouldn't order mm -mm. other than for you and me eating on the mm -hmm. show. And even now having had it, I don't think I'd get it again. But nope. it is fun to like tell people I've tried this, <laughs> I guess. That's how sad my social life is. Guys, I tried the new, they're like, we don't care. For however much, like however small amount of the sauce there is, I'm not tasting much of the cheese. I'm tasting a lot of the sauce. Maybe that's why they don't put much on there. It's got a I am heavy too. flavor. The cheese is really its own thing. Like yeah. it, it did not melt to the chicken at all. It's just like sitting. Mm -hmm. Look at that. If MTV came to you, the person? Said, <laughs> some guy named Matthew Thomas Victor, mm -hmm. three first names. If MTV came to you and said, Corey, we want you to be on a reality show where you live in a house with six other people, all from Toledo, Ohio, and we're gonna satirically pretty much make fun of where you're from mm -hmm. without you really knowing it, but you're gonna make a ton of money. Would you do it? Well, I'd say, I'd say step one, whoever you talk to after this, don't tell them you're gonna trick them before you <laughs> trick them. <laughs> Right. Don't tell them without you knowing it because you're giving it all away. So. There are a lot of reasons why I don't work on the for TV Matthew, production side. For Matthew Thomas Victor. <laughs> One of them is because I give away the whole shtick mm -hmm. during, no, before the audition process mm -hmm. <laughs> or the casting. When I do a Jersey Shore thing based like kind of like Toledo. Like your acting career and your writing career would probably be over because Right, because no if you do reality you TV, seriously. right, that would be the problem. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't want to do it because of that, but I would want to do it because I try to live life where I'm like, yeah, any experience that I can have, even though I make fun of reality TV and, and I get why people are entertained, I'm not bashing anybody who likes it. I totally get Watch it. Watch it, it's just not for me, that doesn't mean it can't be for you. But I still would like to, ex I like experiences. It would still be a fun event to go live with some people right. and they drink a lot. And film you. Yeah. And so give like, you scenarios basically to live. Like today you guys are working at this juice hut. If you took away all the negative associations uh -huh. that are probably more or less true about reality TV mm -hmm. and just strictly were like, like take away the cameras. Oh, okay. If you took away the cameras and were like, dude, we want to pay you, you go live in a house with a bunch of strangers and just drink and you'll just have to work kind of a BS job. That sounds awesome to me. Right. That's, especially I like meet, well, sometimes in a situation like that, I feel like I would might like meeting new people and getting to know you'd be people. Like, you'd be getting close to them. Yeah. It wouldn't be a one-off thing. So that would be pretty cool, but the actual reality TV would pose a threat to my career, which would be not good. Has anybody ever done reality TV and been taken seriously afterwards and had like a serious gig? Yeah, but. Like who? 1% of people. Right. Lauren Conrad's a really good example. LC from the Hills in Laguna Beach. She was on. And now she's got a good job as like a designer or yeah, something? Yeah, she's got a great career. But she always, it seemed like, had a level head about the entire thing. Like, even when she was in high school, she kind of just felt like she understood what was going on. Yeah, she was ahead of the game. She was playing the game instead of the game playing her type uh -huh. shit. Wow. Well, right. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what my only Jersey Shore thing that I like? God, um... I don't, you ever heard of rhetorical questions, you dumb piece of shit? Quit getting in the way of my jokes. This ain't even a joke, this is Was real that life. one? No. Was this, that a rhetorical this question? This ain't even a joke, this is real life. Always Sunny. My favorite, probably honestly one of my favorite episodes they ever did was when they went to the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Isn't that rum, rum ham? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, we should've put this Parmesan package we got in here from Labriola. You know we can't do that, we gotta keep it as is. Oh yeah, that's true. You know what I'm doing? Uh, just gonna guy off. There's an invisible cock here that you're just fucking pounding away at so hard. <laughs> Chicken Papa John sandwich! Fisting? I'm fist bumping. 
That looks like you're giving an aggressive hand job. Like there's a glory <laughs> hole right here, and you don't want to do this job, but you get paid for it. So your hands, your head's down, but you still got to be the best worker you can be. Because otherwise, you're gonna get paid. So you're still, even though you're ashamed about it, you're still going at it. Getting a good one. <laughs> Getting a good one! <laughs> it sounded a little bit like George Costanza. We say, George is getting angry! <laughs> yeah. George is getting upset! You're killing independent Sean. <laughs> he will kill independent George! A George divided against itself cannot stand! Out of five. How come Ronnie wasn't in any of those BK promos? Is he okay? Did Ronnie get into a fight with him? I thought I liked Ronnie. Out of five, Ronnie's. How many Ronnie's do you give the chicken parmesan? Chicky chicky pom pom. Chicken parm is chicky chicky pom pom. Parmesan sandwich from Burger King. Wow, Cat. that was really not good, so. <laughs> Oh, really? I didn't like it that much. I'd say That's below fine. average. Oh, for sure. It's below average a chicken sandwich. Yeah, that was like... We had Wendy's and McDonald's like dollar menu item and it blew that out of the water. Yeah. I'm going to go with a 1.9. It's not <laughs> the worst thing I've ever had. Do you remember these people in the comments were like, I'm kind of getting bummed out. You guys have been eating saw that. good food. I actually come and I was like, don't you worry because we were supposed to do something that we're now replacing with this. That yeah, get there's, the another yeah. there's another thing. There's another thing There's another thing in the future. That'll probably get uploaded at some point. And it might be from the same restaurant. <laughs> it might be. Maybe. Can you guess it? Oh, man. I'm not like biting through it. What are you giving it? I'm gonna give that sandwich a 2.14. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're like really into chicken parmesan for some reason and you're at a Burger King or a fast food restaurant, I, I sure, give it a whirl. They're five dollars. Tie-dye shirt, you think he's gonna ask us for acid? Anytime I see, now I'm always worried people are about to be asking us for acid. We got a gentleman. What's up? I don't, do Wait, you? what's up? He wants acid. Oh no, sorry I got none, brother. Dude, I'm still bummed we didn't have any acid to give that guy. I'm still bummed he didn't have any acid to give us. Eat it, bitch, it's always good. Eat it, bitch, cause that shit good. If you guys like this video, please click like and subscribe to our channel. If you don't like the video, fuck you. You know, it kind of sounded like you were starting the Veggie Tales. If you like to talk to tomatoes, there's no way that you were born you in, a, in a way in a in a in a year that you were young enough to be watching that. If that for sure didn't like come out until you were like 16. Potatoes, How old were you when Veggie Tales came out? Down the produce. <laughs> I'll have we got a show for you. Veggie Tales. I just lost a friend. Broccoli, celery, gotta be okay. Veggie Tales. Ah! There's never ever been a show like Veggie Tales. It's time for Veggie Tales. I fucking hate you.